I asked for a Leicester fan, speak to Tom. All right, Tom. Evening, chaps. You're right. Well, I love the way you said evening, not good evening. So very well put. It is just evening, isn't it? <laughs> oh, look. You've you still got to be positive. We got promoted last year. Yep. It's never going to be easy your first season back in the league. But there is question marks on Steve Cooper's tenure at the club already. Of course there is. I think today's game summed up our season in a whole, you know, we've, we've not had a 90-minute performance in any game. We've had 45-minute performances and then clung on for dear life. We did it against Bournemouth for a 1-0 win. We played well in the first half. That was the difference. Most games we played better in the second half, but tonight it was a turnaround. The first half thought the performance was all right. The second half, we, I think we stayed in the dressing room by the sound of it. And, you know, for being at the game, we didn't like, like any of the players turned up. I'm still questioning the selection of the team and I, I can't get how we're not got Conor Cody in this back line when we can see there's so many goals. We need some experience. We need someone who's controlling the defence because at the moment we've got Ockley and Faz and no disrespect to Ockley, he's a young lad learning the game, but we've got no bite. There's no grit in that middle of the defence. Look, at the start of the season, I'm sure you'd probably looked at certain fixtures and thought, mm, yeah, we can get points, especially at home. And, and I'm guessing Forest would probably be one of those games where you thought you'd definitely be picking up or should be picking up points at home. Do you fear for Leicester, you know, going through the season now? No, I think there's three worst teams in the league than us. I said I would have taken 17 before the season starts. You're obviously with everything what was going off, and now obviously we're not going to get a point deduction. That, you know, mm. that's a massive weight off our shoulders. Mm. I still think there's three teams worse. Which which three teams are the worst? Which which three, three teams are worse than Leicester? Southampton. Yep. Uh, Palace. And <laughs> I'd say between probably... Palace? And, uh, You've just disrespected Palace like that. Yeah, but I think Palace have lost their two best players. And I don't think from the performance that I've seen and watched them. And I've watched, I don't just watch Leicester games. I watch anyone who's on... I watched them against Christ the other night and they were relying on one player to score goals and great for them. And even against us, once again, we, we, we chucked away three points at Palace. We should have won that game comfortably in the end, but we didn't. And I, I still think that teams work in us in this division and that we will pick enough points up. Do you know what? I, I, can't, I agree with you. You know, I think I, nine, I don't. nine games in nine points. I, I think disagree. That's, no, you think they're, they're in trouble? I think Wolves will come good. I think Wolves will Wolves come good. I, agree good. I think I agree Southampton are down. Ipswich will go down. And uh, I, I think Leicester will go down. Three think, teams, yeah. Still think Palace will turn it around? Yeah, they will turn it around. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I mean, Wolves, if you look at the start they've had, they've had a really tough start. But nine points from nine games, you know, that, that's not a bad return. For a side that's just been promoted, that, that's that's all right. That's, not, that's okay, that's not but bad. then you've got to think about Christmas, and then after yeah, yeah. January, yeah, yeah. then when yeah. it goes, so, all so you're, rele you're relegating Leicester. Three teams. Oh, I said that start of the season. Yeah. Three teams that come up will go down. I think yeah. this is the big drop from the Championship to the Premiership, and yeah. right. Leicester haven't strengthened for the Premiership. Can I, let, can, let, can I ask you a question as well, Tom? The, the, the Chris Wood's second goal. It was a mix-up between the keeper, uh, Hermanson and, and Vaz. Who do you blame on that occasion? Who do you think's at fault? I blame the centre half there. You've got to be stronger. You've got to be barging Chris Wood out of the way, and you've got to get your head on it, and you've got to stop and get him such a free run to flick it over. Mm -hmm. I know Mad the saves has enough games this year, and you know to criticise him for one of the goals would be a bit shocking. I think he kept in the game again today in the first half with the sublime save. It was a good save. I, I just think you've, you've got to, as a centre half there, you can't let the ball bounce. Rule one of defending the main penalty that surely. No, no. You, you, the ball in there. Yeah, you, you're correct. And I think he, he did neither roll. He neither headed it back to the goalkeeper or he didn't actually clear it. He just literally let it bounce on his head like he was doing keepy uppies. And, you know, Chris Wood pounced. I don't think the keeper's helped him. The keeper... See, the keeper can see everything. Vass has got his eyes. I've got to give Chris Wood quick credit here because he's gambled. He knows he's breathing down his neck. I've been in that situation. It's horrible. Because you can sense and feel, and you probably hear him breathing down his neck. But I feel that the goalkeeper yeah, in that case... keeper. You can add it back to but, him. Yeah, Why not? I, but I, I think once that ball's bounced, I think he's got his eye on it. He's, he's dollied that up for the keeper to catch. But you can see the goalkeeper going right. backwards. Yeah, but, oh, No, I don't think he has. I think he's seen the keeper well, come off his line. Nah, I, look, both of them made a pig's ear of it. The pair of them made a pig's ear of it. But anyway, he capitalised. Look, Tom's, have a, a nice weekend, mate, and safe journey home. Speak to Sam, who's a Forest fan. All right, Sam. <laughs> 
Good evening, Jason. How are we? I'm all right, mate. Oh, I can hear your voice. You've been screaming tonight, by any chance? I've been, I have been singing <laughs> all night. Oh, I love it. It's great. I'm, it's great. I've been singing in the car on the way home as well. Go on, have a little sing song now. Well, which song have you been singing, mate? <laughs> How are we, gents? No, we're okay, we're okay, matey. What do you want to say? Uh, I just want to say a big is up, really, because um, obviously you've seen the performance tonight. Um, a few callers have already said, bit ropey first half, but the second half, we totally dominated that game, completely in control. Um, our defence is solid as a rock, and um, we look like we're going to score goals as well, especially with uh, super Chrissy Wood up front. Uh, yeah, and, and you know what you're doing this with is you, you've got, you know, you probably your main, let's say your main creative player out injured in Morgan Gibbs White, mm. and people like Callum Watson adore you. He, he's really taking to the he's, he's really playing well mm-hmm. yeah, both he's finding out. his feet really well and, and looking like a nuisance with you know would you say one of your star players out yeah I think that's a great point Jermaine I mean, I mean when you look back and a few weeks ago we played Fulham and I know that's been mentioned already um, I think Nuno made a mistake in that game most Forest fans when they saw that team were a bit surprised because Morgan was out you know our creative spark maybe made a little bit of a mistake, but he put it right against uh, Palace on Monday night. He's played with Anderson there, who's absolutely, what a steal from Newcastle. What did you pay for Anderson? How much was he? Um, I can't remember. It was about 30-odd million, I think he was. was um, I can't remember off the top of my head. Yeah, 35, um, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, 35, yeah. Uh, I mean, what a steal. And um, to have him in there, I mean, he was excellent on Monday uh, Monday night against Palace. He, mm. he, was, he was top-notch. And, but what I like about us as well, Ryan Yates, you've mentioned him, Jason, yeah, tonight. Yeah. What a star. Yeah. He, he's an unsung hero. He's a Nottingham lad. He gets stuck in. He was my man in the match tonight. I don't know what Sky, who, uh, Sky gave it to, but I thought that he gave it to Woody. Again. Yeah, they always go with the, the one that catches the eye. I mean, it's, it's <clears> easy to go with, with Chris Woods, but you, you're right. It's a team game, and sometimes those players... And, and Yates is one of those that he's a 100% merchant. He's horrible to play against. He's got a little bit of a nasty side to him as well which I like yeah absolutely oh yeah he'll stick his boot yeah. in and uh, uh, he's Forrest from through he stood on you know he stood on the, the terraces with Forrest you know he's come through he knows what it's about to play mm. for Forrest mm. so um, yeah we love him um, the team though um, Nuno has added quality I mean I know the corner situation has been mentioned you know we, I think it was uh, reported on Sky Sports you know last year we were woeful we were bottom of the league defending corners and set pieces yeah. This year, um, you know, we, I think we had something like 40 odd corners against us and we haven't conceded from a corner. So, what a massive difference that is. Um, Linkovic has um, made a big difference there, I, th- I think it's fair to say. He's a unit, player. isn't he? Um, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's excellent. And, um, you know, what a steal as well. Everybody's saying it, you know, blimey, I can't believe we've got him for 12 million. Yeah, yeah. What a star. Well, look, enjoy it. There's nothing better, right, than having your weekend get off to like this because the early kickoff, right? Because you know what those early kickoffs can do? They can totally <laughs> ruin your like weekend. Leicester, for example, right? Leicester City fans, their weekend is ruined. Yeah. Right? There's nothing they can do about it. Their weekend is ruined. They're going to wake up tomorrow morning in a foul mood and they've and they're the first side to play, first type of side to get beat, and they've got to watch every other side play, hoping that teams around them are going to drop points. So enjoy it. I'm sure you will. The Sports Bar with Jamie O'Hara and Jason Cundy. Monday to Thursday nights from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.